Okay, so another video about uh, number systems. This time we're going to add different bases. So if you look at this, you're probably thinking, man, that's so easy. I'm just going to do it like that. 2,546 plus 32,132. You can probably do that in your head. Um, but what if this number was in base 7 and this number was in base four. Now you've got problems. Now uh, there is no real easy way to add these together. What we really need to do is to convert them into a common base, probably base 10 because we're so used to dealing with base 10, and then we just work from there. But we're going to have to convert them to that common base first. So base 7, now remember that each of these columns represents 7 to the 0, 7 to the 1, 7 to the 2, and 7 to the 3. Now 7 to the 0 is 1, so there's 6 1s. So there's 6. Now uh, 7 to the 1 is 7, so there's 4 7s. That's 28. Now 5 to the 7 squared. Now 7 squared is 49. So 5 times 49 equals 245. And then 7 cubed is 343. So 2 times 343 is 686. All right, so if we add all of them together, I'm going to do some weird, something weird here, but you guys will work better than I do. Actually, no, let's not do that. Let's put an equal sign there. Now, that's going to be equal to 965. Now, let's not get confused. This is the real 965 in base 10. Okay, uh, now this one, base 4. Remember, this is going to be 4 to the 0, 4 to the 1, 4 to the 2, 4 to the 3, 4 to the 4. Now this is like the 1's column, 4 to the 0 is 1, so that's going to be uh, 2, 2 1's, 3 4's, 4 to the power of 1 is 4, so 3 4's is 12, uh, 1, 4 squared, which is 16, so 116 is 16. Uh, 4 cubed, which is 64. So 2 times 64 is going to be 128. And then, this one I'm going to need a calculator for. 4 to the 4 is 256. 256 times 3. 786. Oops, 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 oops. oops. 786. 68. Okay, so I'm going to add all them up. Okay, so that's 926. And again, we don't want to get confused. That's in base 10. So our final answer here, if we add this up, it's going to be equal to 965 plus 926. It's going to be equal to 1,891 in base 10. Now what if I complicated the issue? What if I said to you, actually I didn't want it in base 10, I wanted it in base 7. Oh, let's do something different. I wanted it in base 5. Now in that case you're going to have to do everything in reverse. So you've got a 5 to the power of 0 column, a 5 to the power of 1 column, a 5 to the power of 2 column, a 5 to the power of 3 column, and a 5 to the power of 4 column. Will that be enough? 5 to the power of 4. Yes, that should be enough. Okay, so you're going to have to do everything in reverse. You've got your different columns, and you're going to have to work from the left to the right. So 5 to the power of 4, that's 625. Now, how many 625s do I have in 1,891? Uh, 
I have three 625s in 1,891. Now, 1,891 minus 625 times 3 is 1875. Yeah. Okay, and you don't. You can use a calculator, obviously. And I've got 16 left over. And then we go on to our next column. All right, 5 to the power of 3 is 125. Okay, that won't go in at all, so there's going to be 0 in there. 5 squared, that's 25. No, there's not going to be any of them. Okay, 5 to the power of 1, that's our 5's column. How many 5's do I have in 16? 5, 10, 15. I have 3 5's in there. Okay, so that's going to be 15. And then there's going to be 1 left over, and that's all, that goes in our 1's column. Okay, 3, 0, 0, 3, 1 in base 5. Your brain should really be hurting now um, because all of these bases, base 7, base 4, base 5, we're not used to working in them so it looks really odd. You look at that number and you immediately think of 30,000 and how big that number is. But it's actually only this number, 1,891, which is this number in base 7 plus this number in base 4. Really confusing. Adding different bases. Give it a try.